I'm Joel, and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some incredible challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh, no, they'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in The Mixer. First up are George and Ali from London. Then Ben and Joshua from Lincoln. Then Kaylee and Savannah from Middlesex. And finally, Georgina and Megan from Swindon. Right, so what makes these guys such good friends? Let's find out. Hi, we're George and Alistair, and we're twins. Our favourite things to do together are computer games, Football. We support Manchester United because they're the best. My favourite player is Cristiano Ronaldo, but now he's moved to Madrid, I'm not quite sure. My favourite player is Vidic, the defender. When George was young, we were in a restaurant and he kept standing up, sitting down, standing up, sitting down. And our granddad said to him, George, you look like you've got ants in your pants. So George took off his trousers and threw them away. Just to check. We're Team Extreme and we're, we're going to win. win. Hi, I'm Josh, I'm from Lincoln and I'm 12 years old and I've just pretty much came here to win this! Hi, I'm Ben, I'm 12 years old too and I come from Lincoln as well. We like to go swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Breaststroke's my favourite. Mm. The crawl. Mm. Mm. The reason we're the best. We just are. Hi, I'm Savannah. Hi, I'm Kaylee. And, and we're, we're best, best friends. friends. We're 12 from Middlesex. We're really good working together and we bond together so much. For example, when I'm sad, Kaylee helps me. We like doing things in our spare time together, such as swimming, scouts, shopping, and football. We just want to get to the final and win it. I'm Megan. And I'm Georgina. And we're both bad friends. I'm 12. And I'm 11. And we both live in Swindon. We're bad friends because we can make each other laugh. <laughs> <laughs> One of Megan's bad habits is getting distracted really easily. It really annoys me. Oh, one of Georgina's bad habits is that she can't stop growing. We really want to win the show and we're going to try our hardest. The games are going to be so fun. What a great bunch of best friends. But all too soon, they're going to be torn apart by the mixer. More of that later. It's now time to put the best friends through the first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here in the Best Friend Challenge, not only will the teams gain a massive confidence boost, but they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. If any of the best friends make it to the final, that could come in very, very useful. But who will win the hand of friendship? Let's find out as we play this. Tube Strike. Here we'll be able to see just how well the best friends work together as they've got to navigate across some pretty tricky terrain. They'll start in one corner, then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and strike down their team coloured target. Only once that's hit the floor can they then roll back into the middle Flip up their tube once more and bang and burst the one and only big red balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory. But what route will they go for? The shortest possible route? Or will they come up with a way that will outsmart their opponents? There's only one way to find out. Keep your friends close. They're all on a roll. Purple, Savannah and Kaylee aren't taking the direct route to reach their target. Where are they going? Silver's Ben and Joshua clash in the middle with Blue's George and Ali. Purple's avoid that pile-up, but meet Pink's head on. In the bottom corner, the Sills have rolled free, but Blue's, Purple's and Pink are in a terrible little tussle. Silver's tip up, yes, target down. Purple's tipping up and target down. The Silver's are ahead, they're aiming high. There we go, you've got a clean run, Josh and Ben. Let's take a look at that again. It's not turning! Quick! This way! Yes! Now a big one! Guys, you seem to take advantage 
of the confusion in the middle. Did you have a tactic? Um, our tactic was to go um, from the side round to get to the balloon, but we couldn't turn and we went straight into the middle. You've won this, the hand of friendship, right? Now, this could be the difference between winning and losing if you make it to the final. Well, whether Ben and Josh get to the final remains to be seen, because very soon the best friends will be playing against each other. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So, four pairs become three, then three become two until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So, even if one best friend is eliminated, the other best friend has to keep on winning and winning and winning in order to win back their best friend for the final. But to get that far, they're going to have to work pretty closely with some enemies. Them the rules. Let's crank it up. The mixer spins, but who will it pair with who? The first pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Georgina and Ali. Next up is George and Josh. The third pair of frenemies chosen by the mixer is Ben and Savannah. And finally, Kaylee and Megan. So the mixer has worked its ways and what has it created. Let's have a look at the frenemy relationships here. We've got Georgina and Ali. Now, Georgina's favourite sport is rounders. She loves to bat. Whereas Ali's favourite sport is skateboarding. Now, rounders, that's quite a team orientated sport where skateboarding, well, it's all about you looking good and grazing your knees. Individual versus team. Could there be some differences there? We'll find out. And then we've got George and Josh. Now, George thinks other boys play computer games way too much. Whereas Joshua thinks other boys talk about football way too much. But will they get on? Are they too opinionated? We'll find out. Then we've got Ben and Savannah. Now, Ben describes himself as a cheater because he's fast and agile. Fagile. And Savannah is the opposite. She reckons she's like an elephant. Not because she's slow or anything, but because she's got an incredible memory. Fast with good memory, these guys can be a force to be reckoned with. And finally, it's Kaylee and Megan. Now, Kaylee would put a custard pie into a Nan's face. Wow. Wow, <laughs> your poor Nan. And Megan would put a custard pie into Bruce Forsyth's face. What's wrong with Bruce? What's wrong with Bruce? Eh? Nothing wrong with Bruce. All right, remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Air pressure. Here, the frenemies have powerful blowers, which move up, down, left and right. In the battle arena are nine balls. The object is to keep your gutter clear or trying to blow as many balls into your rival's gutter as possible. When time's up, the pair of frenemies with the most balls in their gutter will be eliminated. Now, audio communication will be useless as you've got these earmuffs on, so you're going to have to use the power of visual communication. So, frenemies, I bid you good luck. Earmuffs on. Are you ready? Keep your enemies close. 45 seconds on the clock. If the frenemy pairs let the balls get anywhere near their gutter, they could lose. Attack, attack, attack is the only way to stay out of trouble. Frenemies are not allowed to blow balls out of their gutters, but the air pressure is forcing the balls to flow all over the place. George and Josh are under pressure. Those balls are way too close for comfort. The balls are piling up in George and Josh's gutter. They're finding it impossible to defend. Kaylee isn't taking her eyes off the balls and is keeping up the pressure. OK, OK, right, oh. Megan and Kaylee, you have a clear gutter. Ben and Savannah, you also have a clear gutter. Ali and Georgina, you have two balls in your gutter. But unfortunately, for George and Josh, you have three balls in your gutter. Right, successful frenemies, if you'd like to go back to the mixer. But Josh and George, come here, come here. So it's a blame game. Whose fault was it? 
Well, I think it was their fault because they blew their balls. They kept balls on blowing them at us. I suppose that is the aim of the game, I suppose. Mm. So, you're, so you're not taking any blame. You said they ganged up on you. Yeah. But guys, it's not over yet because your best friends can still win you back in the final. Can they do it? Yes! That's what I like to hear, but unfortunately for the moment, you're headed to lockdown. It's lights out and lockdown for George and for Josh. Only six players remain. It's time to crank it up. Mixer, spin and mix. The first pair of frenemies chosen by the mixer is Kaylee and Ali. Then it is Georgina and Savannah. And the last pair of frenemies out of the mixer is Ben and Megan. Josh and George go into lockdown, relying on their best friends to win them back. And new pairs of frenemies have been created by the mixer. Let's see what we got here. We've got Ali and Kaylee. Now, if Kaylee was on a desert island and she could only take one thing with her, she'd take soap to keep clean. That's practical. Whereas Ali, well, he'd take a mobile phone to get off the island as quick as possible. Maybe this suggests that these two aren't willing to get down and dirty and they'll escape when the going gets tough. OK, then we've got George and Savannah. Now, Savannah loves the noisettes and take that. But Georgina, take that, as one of her least favourite bands. What? You're a take thatist? OK, then we've got Ben and Megan. Ben loves cats and would pick them over dogs every day of the week. But Megan loves dogs and has goes far as to say, get this, she thinks that cats are evil. She thinks cats are evil. Could their different tastes in pets prove to be a hindrance and drive them barking mad? Well, we'll find out. Remember, one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. U-Cube. Here is half a giant cube. And over here are three giant pieces that complete the cube. Now, here, you have to be quick and work together, as these pieces are quite ungainly. You then have to slot them together to create the cube. Remembering the last pair of frenemies to complete this will be eliminated. Keep your enemies close. This is problem solving at its toughest. Interesting to see that all three pairs of frenemies have gone for the pink piece. Good work, Ben and Megan. Nice bits. But only one pair have slotted it in. On the left, Kaylee and Ali, well done. Two more pieces to make a cube. Savannah and Georgina on the right are struggling. We need to lift that people. Oh, Ben and Megan in control. <laughs> Snug bit, the green piece. <laughs> Will this piece fit in? Kayla and Ali, you yes. cube. And Ben and Megan are also so close, everyone's kind of stuck on the yellow bit here. Ben and Megan, have they cracked it? Turn it around. They're getting frustrated, and this is not the game where you want frustration to cloud your judgment. Oh, you're so close. No. Oh. Ben's going for the physical force. Is that going to work? You cube! Well done, you guys. But for Savannah and Georgina, let's have a look at the pieces that puzzled you. Oh, push it down. Does it go? We'll make it go, OK? It's not the right piece. Savannah, it's not the right piece. You said you were good at this. Other way round. Handbags. Savannah and Georgina, it is the blame game. Was anyone at fault here? I don't think so. No. It's just that we weren't fast enough. It wasn't really about speed, it was about the puzzle solving. Do you think you let yourselves down there a little bit? Yeah, like, we got this in the right position, but we just couldn't figure out how to actually get it in. It is hard, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it is really, really tricky, but you're still in with a great chance of getting into the final. Do you think your best mates can win you back? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> OK, well, you did really well. You just got cracked by the cube in the end. But for you both, you're headed to lockdown. Georgina, for the moment, it's lights out and lockdown. And the same for Savannah. 
It's all to play for. Four players in, four players out. Let's mix it up. The first pair of frenemies chosen by the mixer is Megan and Ali. And they'll be facing Kaylee and Ben. Let's see what the mixer has created in the land of frenemies. We'll start with Ali and Megan. If Megan could have a superpower, it would be the power to read minds. Whereas Ali, well, he wouldn't want a superpower. He'd want to be a vampire. Now, if I were you, Megan, I'd watch my back, cos he could try and bite you. OK, then we've got Kaylee and Ben. Now, these two seem a little bit fussy with their foods. Now, Kaylee's least favourite food is salad. Doesn't like the greens, whereas Ben's least favourite food is steak pie. But will these two have a hunger for victory? As remember, the pair of frenemies who lose this will be eliminated. Push on through. This is push on through. In this wall are 22 red rods and 22 yellow rods, and the aim is to push your team coloured rod through the wall. Now, Kelly and Ben, you'll be pushing through the yellow rods. And Ali and Megan, you'll be pushing through the red rods. You have 60 seconds to push as many of your team coloured rods onto the opposition side. A lot is at stake here, and your best friends in lockdown will be relying on you, because you get to win them back, and also, you're fighting for a place in the final. You're all in with a great chance. Keep your enemies close! 60 seconds on the clock. all the way through. It's all about tactics. Defend or attack, or a bit of both. I'm just trying to get it. Look, 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 that one's coming through. Come on, Wow, look at Megan and Ali launching them through. 30 seconds remaining. Kelly and Ben aren't having any of those reds. They're chuckling back through. Defensive tactics. Coming for me! Right, that's it. Well done. Everything's at stake for these frenemies. Three, two, one. OK, teams, that's enough. Come round, join me here. It looks really close, so... While we have a look at the replay, we're going to count up. Megan attack mode. Whilst Ali defended, Kaylee plugged gaps. And Ben, he blocked. It was furious, furious stuff. Now I can tell you that one team managed to push through 13 rods. The other team managed to push through 14 rods. There's only one rod in it. I can now announce the winner is... Ben and Kaylee, you won it by one rod, which means you've won back your best friends and a place in the final. But for you guys, it was so close. You did so well, Megan and Ali. How'd you feel? Well, I'm happy for doing so well, so. Guys, you did better than well. You did absolutely brilliantly. That cursed one rod, congratulations. It just wasn't enough on the day. But for you guys, it's time to find out who are the best of friends. The best friends have been reunited. So, Kaylee and Savannah, what's it like to be back together? Feels amazing. And to know that we're in the final is even better. But you're facing a powerful force, Ben and Josh. You started brilliantly by winning Tube Strike. Let's take a look at your victorious moment. <laughs> you won the hand of friendship. Now, that could come in useful. Why is it that you two have been so successful? I haven't been the most successful because I got out in the second round. I'm more physical than he's more mental. Well, it's time to find out who really are the best of friends. The final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You will then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was M and your category was animal or bird, you could have 
moose or mouse or meerkat. There are loads of different answers you could have. You have five seconds to give me two correct answers. And this is the sound you'll hear when time is up. <laughs> two correct answers sends your enemies along the track closer to those chutes. Now, those chutes are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. You really want to lag behind the clag. If you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. Now, your aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there, where the losers will be covered in gunge, but the winners will be covered in the feeling of glory. Now, Ben and Josh, you won the hand of friendship. This is as good as a correct answer, but you have to say the words hand of friendship within the five seconds. Let battle commence. <laughs> Boys, you go first. Your letter is... C. Category. Country. Time starts now. America and um, England. Josh, you said America and England, but remember, the two answers have to start with the letter that's been lit up, so unfortunately, that's incorrect, which means you move along the track. OK. Kayleen Savannah, are you ready? Your letter is... A. Category animal or bird. Time starts now. An ant eater and an, an ant. That's good. Two correct answers. It's a good start, which means, boys, you're heading ever closer to the barrier. You need to get this right. Hand of friendship is still in play. Here we go. Your letter is... O. Category British town or city. Time starts now. Hand of friendship. You've used the hand of friendship. No messing about there from Ben, which is as good as two correct answers. The comeback has started. You could have said Oxford or Omar or Orpington. Now, Savannah, Kaylee, your letter is... R. Category. Band or pop star. Time starts now. Um... Time's up. You didn't give me two correct answers. You could have had Rihanna, Robbie Williams, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I just saw you kind of sigh there. I bet it's, it's hindsight's a wonderful thing. So it's even Stevens now, boys. Your letter is... P. Category food or drink. Time starts now. Pepsi and peppers. Two correct answers. Congratulations. Which means Savannah and Kaylee move further along the track. Ben and Josh, after having a two-hand deficit, have managed to turn it round. OK, girls, here we go. Your letter is... N, category, girl's name. Time starts now. Nora and Noreen. Nora and Noreen. Two correct answers. Ben, Josh, here we go. This couldn't be any closer. Your letter is... F. Category, band or pop star. Time starts now. <laughs> Time's up. You didn't seem like you had anything in your head there. You could have had, for instance, The Feeling or Fergie or Fallout Boy. But you didn't give me a correct answer, which means, girls, this is a really good chance now to get some headway on the boys. Your letter is... It's another F. Your category, country. Time starts now. Finland and France. Two correct answers, which means boys. Ben and Josh, if you get this wrong, the girls have the right to send you in and you go smashing through that clag barrier. It all hangs on this for you. Are you ready? Your letter is... K, category, boys' name. Time starts now. Kev. Kyle. Kevin and Kyle, two correct answers. Girls, they've managed to live another day. But if you get this right, you've won the game. Here we go. Your letter is... I. Category. British town or city. Your time starts now.
time's up. The boys sigh a breath of relief and wipe their brows. You didn't give me two correct answers. You could have had Ilford or Ipswich or Inverness, which means we've come to a tie break and it's time to bring on the buzzers. Tie break. It all comes down to this, the tie break. OK, so same rule applies. A letter will be lit up, a category will be given, although this time I only need one correct answer. First team to buzz, I need a correct answer immediately, otherwise we'll hand it over to your enemies. OK, here we go. Your letter is... R. Category. Type of sport. Ben and Josh buzzed it first. Answer now. Rounders. Rounders. That's good. It literally went to the wires, which means you've earned the right to send him in to go smashing through the clag barrier. <laughs> so it went to a tie break, and you've earned the right to send the girls through the clag. Anything you want to say to your enemies? Sorry, girls. Boys conquered the show. In the your world. second the best. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to the boys at this point? We're still better than you! OK, then! Bisham! <laughs> Basham! Bosham! So, Ben and Josh, you've proven that you are indeed the best of friends. Josh, you went out really early. Did you think <laughs> at that point, it's over for me? Yeah, pretty much. I was like, oh, no, I've God, lost. No. And you, 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 you said to Ben, your, your advice from the beginning was, you've got to focus on the girls, target the girls and beat mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And in the end, that's what you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've proved that you are a winning combination and well-deserving of our solid silver, keep your enemies close medallions. And a left and a right makes a winning pair. Congratulations. You are the winners of keep your enemies close. All right. So, remember... To keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. Who's the fastest? Who's the strongest? Who's the smartest? Who's got the best secret weapon? Who are you backing? Natural Born Hunters starts next Monday at 8. New to the CBBC channel. Here at CBBC, we love you guys. We do! That's how we've given you a whole load of your best love shows <laughs> this heart term. Oh, yeah! yeah. Sorted! <laughs> love the Sarah Jane adventures? Go Sarah Jane! Oh, yeah! Love horrible histories? Oh, yeah! Wonderful. <laughs> love Deadly 60? I do! Absolutely wonderful. And love Tracy Beaker? Well, you do. We've got all your best love shows this heart term. Groovy! Very impressive! All next week on the CBBC channel. Come on, a love heart term, <laughs>